In this video, I will teach you how to write the electron configuration for copper 1 plus 2 plus ion and copper neutral atom. So let's get started. So to write the electron configuration of any ion, you need to know the electron configuration of neutral atom. So let us write the electron configuration of copper first. In a neutral atom, the atomic number of copper is 29 this means that it has uh, 29 uh, proton and 29 electrons right so let us write the electron configuration so uh, you have to write the uh, orbital sequence right ss say with me then psps twice then dps dps twice so say with me SS, PSPS, DPS, DPS, then write FDPS, FDPS. This is the uh, orbital, uh, this is the uh, sub level sequence of uh, subshell, right? So you, you have to memorize this. So like this SPDF. You know that. S orbital can take maximum 2, P can take maximum 6 and D can take 10 and F can take 14, right? So this is our first, S is our first subshell, this is our second subshell, this is third, this is fourth. So to write this sequence, look, consider this, S, S, just write once, then consider these two together, S, P. The PS, you have to think like this PS, PS, then you have to consider these three together DPS, 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 just write twice and then you have to consider this four subshell together FDPS, FDPS, there is no limit for writing FDPS. So now let us uh, distribute this 29 electrons. So 2, 4, 10, 12. 18 20 then here 29 so we don't need this subshell so this is our electron configuration now we have to write uh, the number before s p and d so a start uh, with 1s then this will be 2s 3s 4s and p start from 2 2p 3p d start from uh, 3 so here will be 3d so this should be the electron configuration of copper but this is not the case this is not the right electron configuration you know that uh, d can take maximum 10 right the half of 10 is equal to 5 so half field and full field uh, subshell is more stable since uh, 3d has 9 so it will easily take uh, one from outermost cell 4s right and it will become d10 and here we have to write one look the energy for this 4s you can determine the energy of any subshell by n plus l value the n equal to 4 and the l value for s equal to 0 that is 4 and the n plus l value for 3d is 3 plus 2 n plus l that is 3 d the l value for d is 2 that is 5 right 5 so the energy is uh, is higher for 3d but due to gain stability electron will come from 4, 4s to the 3d so this is the electron configuration of copper right and what will be the electron configuration of copper plus it also has 29 uh, atomic number but this copper has 29 proton proton will be always same the number of electrons will be here 28 electrons just you have to reduce one electron due to uh, positive charge you know that 
one uh, one electron will neutralize one proton but here we have 29 proton right so 28 proton will neutralize 28 proton but will have one more proton that is why we will write positive charge so we need to remove one electron from this neutral uh, electron configuration of copper atom so from which you have to deduct this one electron okay from the from the okay so look here the n plus l value for 4s equal to 4 and l plus l value for 3 equal to 5 right so you have to uh, remove one electron so now you have to look for the highest value of n the highest value of n here is 4 here 3 so here 4 so this is the outermost shell so one electron will go from here so write the electron configuration 3s2 3p6 then 4s0 then 3d 10 so this is the electron configuration of copper uh, plus ion so you can remove this now we'll write the electron configuration of copper 2 plus for copper 2 plus ion the number of proton is 29 the number of proton is fixed the number of electron will be look 20 minus minus 2 that is 27 electrons right okay so in copper 2 plus ion we have 27 electron so to write the electron configuration just will remove two electron from the neutral copper atoms electron configuration so how to do that these two electron will go from the from the outermost shell here one electron will go from this 4s and another electron will go from the 3d because the n plus l value for uh, 4s equal to 4 and 5 so after look the n plus l value for 3p is 3 plus 1 4 right but the we have to look for the value of n the highest value of n equal to 4 so electron will go from here 1 then we will look for the highest value of uh, n to remove another electron but here we have 3d and here we have 3p so from which you will uh, delete or remove electron look for 3d the energy is 5 so outer we have to consider outermost cell and then we have to consider the highest value of n plus l right so from here 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 then 4s will be 0 we have to deduct uh, one electron from 3d v9 so from uh, electron will group from this 4s because the the, the principal con the value of principal quantum number is higher for 4s then the electron one more electron will go from 3d because the n plus l value is higher for 3d than 3p right so at first we will look for the value of n and we will consider the higher value of n then we will consider uh, if if you have a similar value of n uh, then we will consider n plus l value n plus l value indicate the amount of energy a subshell hold so thank you for viewing this video be well